<laughs> we are just finding fig tree after fig tree. My pockets are loaded. It's incredible how many figs are around here. Like this. Maybe, maybe you can uh, introduce the video and like turn around and say, Welcome in the bridge under the highway. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean turn around? Like turn the camera around, like show. Ah, around. yeah. I just finished wrapping this malachite an edible bean hello how would you describe the taste of this bean? Hmm, let me try it. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> it's like a, a dried banana with portobello mushroom and, <laughs> and, 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 and like... <laughs> mm -hmm. Socks juice. Socks juice? <laughs> <laughs> I would say like car caramel parmesan. <laughs> <laughs> we need to climb the tree. Yeah. And there's also apple there. We discovered a fig tree. Look this one. Take this one. The green one? Yeah. Yeah. It's not really a ripe one. Pretty good. I'm trying to find Oh my god. <laughs> This one's good. This is crazy. Needs more. That's really not gonna be spicy, babe. I'll put a bit more, yeah? Okay. <laughs> She's 
is waking you up. We want to hitchhike, but there is an acceleration stripe here. Uh, so the cars cannot stop there. So it's tricky. There's a fig tree there. There's a fig tree there. <laughs> oh my god. Mm, 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 mm. Ocean, mountains, fig tree, William, and the tree. We're by the playground here. And there are so many figs. They fall on the floor and they dry. And there are more than we can eat. <laughs> mm. Yeah, we are in Croatia and it's beautiful, it's super warm. We left Berlin, it was like uh, two days ago and then uh, we took the overnight bus and then we arrived in Rijeka, Croatia and then <clears throat> the first night we already tried to hitchhike out of the city but were not successful so we landed in the suburbs and just camped in the garage <laughs> or garden of a very friendly lady that um, yeah offered us to put the tent there and then the next day we tried hitchhiking again for the whole day we went to three different spots on the highway but no success so we took the bus to Vino, Vino Dolski, Novi Dolski, something like that. Uh, just like one hour away from Rijeka. And here we are now um, by the beach. Well, no, actually it's not a beach. It's just like rocks, but by the, by the ocean. And we camped in the park last night. And then we woke up really early before everyone comes. So then since then we've just been chilling in the hammock <laughs> and yeah now we're gonna try to hitchhike again um we're trying to get to split and yeah we'll see how that goes the fig trees are everywhere and we stop all the time to eat figs they're so abundant and it's just such a dream like i've never before eaten figs until i was full this is like such a luxury because figs are usually pretty expensive and like it's a it's a treat it's like a um a, a delicacy and here they're just everywhere oh really come on you didn't know okay i'm gonna go to the third side Oh my 
biggest rosemary bush I've ever seen. This is so much rosemary. <laughs> oh, smells so good. That's where we camped last night. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to the hammock camp under the bridge. Mm. Okay. Oh wow, how do I do? Okay. <laughs> yes. Hello. Hello. Today is um today. Today is take it easy day. <laughs> National take it easy day. Say <laughs> <laughs> you know me. We woke up at this incredible <laughs> place. Mm. I don't even know if I'm hearable because of the waves, but we're right by the water and we camped in the garage of a super nice Croatian couple that saw us walking the streets and was like come on in you can um, pitch your tent in our garage so we did and yeah this is the place right by the ocean And that's the tent. <laughs> mm. 
I was so grateful last night because um, yeah I was really exhausted and I felt a bit weak my body was just begging me to take it easy and rest a bit more mm. and yeah then we, we spent the day hanging out in the hammocks yesterday and then found this spot, this spot with like wind protected from the wind and a water tap so we could do everything <laughs> wash ourselves and swim we went for a swim last night in the dark and oh, I'm just so grateful and I'm gonna ask them if they can charge my camera because it's flashing it's not ideal yet. <laughs> Back, so it's back or something. Mm, yeah, I think so. <laughs> Togo. There are no cars on this road. Maybe I should buy this car with a bit more. <laughs> this car? Yeah. No, worth more than five hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah, they're good. Yeah, they're good. Perfect. Potatoes. I think we just take this, no? <laughs> so much. <laughs> <laughs> we can offer them and like. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what to do with it. You like well, potatoes? We make a lot of. Um, like, I don't know, good. No, good or no uh, good. Get zdrowe! Where do you come from? You want mint? Oh, babe! <laughs> a, bit, a bit of water for you. <laughs> this is all dried figs from the garden of this house where we stayed last night up there <laughs> it's not olives no. is it? what is it? a red one that's like not dry like, like this? Like this. Yeah. yeah what is it? Jidula. Gidula. Mm. It's like apple. Ah. Whoa. <laughs> so good. Tastes, tastes funny. It's, it tastes super dry. But sweet. A new fruit. It's like apple. And grapes. Wow. Well, they have such a good garden. Mandarins, grapes. Figs. This red fruit, I already forgot the name. Hello. I don't really remember what I was last talking about. 
Mm, I think, yeah, we were. The last uh, update I gave was when we were. Oh yeah, when we were camping in the garage of the friendly couple. Yeah, so that day, so we slept in their garage, and then the next day we <clears throat> stayed a little bit in their place and were cooking, making a soup, and a super spicy. <laughs> uh, Will made a super spicy thing with Carolina Reaper. Anyway, yeah, and then we swam and washed some clothes and all that. And in the afternoon, around three, we packed everything up, headed to the road, started hitchhiking, which was super hard. Nobody stopped for two and a half hours. There were not so many cars, also, and we were like, "Whoa, this is gonna be hard." <laughs> and then, yeah, like around 5:30, a super friendly guy, <laughs> a kind of weird guy, but friendly because he stopped and because he really wanted to help us uh, from Poland picked us up and we drove with him a long way uh, so all the way from Lukovo Shugarje which was like a tiny little village to Tribuny which was a bigger city um, on the coast ah. and then on the way we picked up some potatoes by the side of the road we picked up a little cat that we took to the town and gave it some food and then it ran away so it didn't want to stay with us but we just uh, fed it a little bit and then I think it's going to be okay because it's in the in a little city where someone was going to take care of it and see it and feed it. Yeah, so that's that. Um, yeah, then we ended up going with this guy, the Polish guy, to an old friend of his in Tribuny, and they let us sleep in the um, like the guest apartment that they usually rent to tourists, and we got to sleep there for free. <laughs> we had Wi-Fi and a bathroom, everything, a bed. I was uh, very, very lucky once again, <laughs> and. They had a garden like full of loaded fruit trees, grapes, figs, everything. Amazing. <laughs> and then yesterday, um, he drove us. The guy, the Polish guy, was friendly enough to drove us like to the next, just the next big road, where we hitchhiked again. And we hitchhiked um, only a short way to the next town, which I forgot the name. Ah, Shibenik, I think. And in Shibenik, we were like, okay. We're never gonna make it to Albania if we keep going at this rhythm because like it's still it was still like 800 kilometers to where we want to go in Albania so we decided to take a bus we took a bus from Shibenik to Dubrovnik um, for like eight hours the bus ride was like eight hours and now we're in Dubrovnik we arrived last night super late and we met a friend that also wants to go to the rainbow gathering in Albania and he came with us, we f we were also like walking along the road looking for a spot to camp and e without us even like putting our thumbs out or anything um, a guy stopped and was like yeah I'm gonna help you guys because I'm always helping travelers I'm gonna drive you to a nice spot where you can camp and he just drove us here to the beach and there's like bushland all around and yeah that's where we camped last night now it's the morning, I just woke up and I went for a walk and yeah, I don't know where, where the day is going to take us. We're going to try to check again and I want to see a bit of Dubrovnik though and swim and just uh, take it easy. Ah. <clears throat> Found some grapes by the ocean. A todo meu bem. Tendo coração vazio, vivo assim a torcida, sabia vem cá também. O que anda pelo mundo, tu que tanto. 
We probably just ate like one kilo of grapes each for free. 